guys, Costinha here from the Drone Lovers channel. In my last video I brought to you an easy, cheap alternative for a micro quadcopter build, an FPV quadcopter, but this video is going to be all about the real deal. In front of me here I have all the parts we need for a micro FPV build and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough just to tell you what I have bought for my quadcopter. So, first of all, flight controller. The flight controller that I've chosen for this build is an F3 EVO brushed. It's based on the SP Racing and two major qualities about this flight controller. First of all, it has six motor ports, so you can either build a quadcopter or if you want, you can build an exocopter with it. And the other thing is you can either use 1S batteries or if you want you can use 2S batteries because you can choose between the two types of batteries. So this is the flight controller that we are going to use. I already have soldiered the um, battery lead because I've been burned with products coming from China before so I test everything as soon as they get to my door and well there's nothing wrong with this flight controller. So next we will need a receiver and because I'm flying my uh, quad with the Flysky FSI6 the receiver that I went and bought is a FSRX PPM micro receiver from iRange. This is the tiniest receiver I have ever seen. This hardly weighs uh, 1 gram so it won't add uh, much weight to the build and um, well it's a pretty straightforward simple receiver it will give me about 100 150 meters range and it will bind to my fly sky uh, transmitter so this is the receiver that we are going to use motors i was thinking about using um, 8520 shaolin motors but after i exchanged a couple of comments with nick burns that has a really cool um, micro uh, FPV channel here on YouTube and he told me that those Shaolin motors are pretty generic so I decided to go with the Red Racer Star 8520 motors these ones deliver pretty nice RPMs they are pretty fast so these are the motors that I'm going to use Frame kits. I have bought a uh, 105 millimeters Leitian, Leitian, Leitian. I don't know how to say this. Leitian uh, carbon fiber frame kit. It's an X uh, frame, and it's uh, one millimeter thickness. So I hope I won't uh, break this uh, frame on the first crashes, but it, it seems sturdy, so it will probably be fine. I'm going to use the three-bladed propellers from the Upson. X4 L107H or H107L, sorry. And uh, these are plastic ABS plastic propellers, but I bought a whole bunch of them, so if they break, I have some spare props to, to wear. I'm going to use also a couple of two bladed 7mm propellers that I have hanging around to see which one performed better. Camera. Um, I was intending of using a different camera. I bought a lighter camera from Gearbest, that dead on arrival camera that I received, and I still haven't got my replacement camera, so I will be forced to use this other camera that I had for a different build. This is an all in one uh, TX camera, but this one, well, it's just not as light as the other camera that I had for this build. This one weighs next to 6 um, grams, more or less. I think it's 5.8 grams. If I take this metal casing off of it, it will go down to 4.8 grams, I think. And it has uh, 120 degrees field of view, 40 channels, 25 milliwatts. And the only thing I don't like about this camera is this whip antenna that will give me a limited range. But for now, this will have to do. So, batteries. I have three types of batteries here in front of me. They are all 1S batteries, but I'm going to try them all to see which one performs better. But um, I think I will have to buy some proper batteries because these are pretty generic batteries. These are the batteries that come with our toy quadcopters. I have a 400 milliamp hour battery. I have a 500 milliamp hour battery 
and I have this uh, 900 one cell 3.7 volt milliamp hour battery and I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not the only thing it's because it's pretty light and uh, it has quite a bit of power but I'm afraid of burning something so probably will put this one to the side and fly it with the 500 milliamp hour battery so let's put the frame together let's put some motors on it afterwards I'm going to um, solder the motors to the flight controller plug it to my PC flash a different firmware because it comes with clean flight but everyone says that better flight performs better so I'm going to flash a different firmware on this uh, flight controller and afterwards let's see how this quad performs so guys let's put this together so first of all let's get the frame together, let's assemble the frame So we have our frame almost assembled, we have our motors in place and now we are going to start soldering stuff. So first of all I'm going to solder the um, receiver to the board. The board has three UARTs, one, two and three and then up there those three little pins are to uh, solder a uh, satellite receiver but because I'm using the tiny eye range receiver, the PPM receiver, I'm going to use the UART 3 and how it says here on the schematic it goes on these five little pins the first is ground, the second is 5 volts and the third one it's the RX2 in this case it's the PPM. So let's tin this up and start soldering. Just check to see if everything is okay. So ground black, 5 volts red, white PPM or X RX2. So everything is okay here, you can put it in a way that doesn't make contact to anything else and later on you can add some double-sided tape. But for now we are going to solder the motors. Always clean your soldering iron, let's start tinning those motor points. Now that we have all motors, uh, all wires exposed, we are going to put some flux and thin them. And we are ready to soldier the motors to the flight controller. So the ports of the motors, they have two pins. The higher pin is always the negative and the pin which is closer to the battery lead is the positive pin. We are going to use motor 1, 2, 4 and 3 and 6 and 5 are the ports in the middle that we are not going to use that would be used on a um, exocopter build. <laughs> Now I'm going to soldier the battery lead for the camera.
So guys, I have just finished assembling the quad, but it's uh, nighttime, so I won't be able to fly it today. I will try to do a hover test just to show you how stable the quad is, and tomorrow I will upload FPV footage from the quad. Um, now I was uh, putting my tools away, and I just remember I have another camera that I can use on this build. Is this uh, all-in-one camera that I had on my uh, tiny whoop clone? All-in-one meaning it's a camera transmitter and it has an antenna, and it has this little uh, display on the back. It has a button to change the channels, and this is actually uh, power switchable between 25, 100, and 200 milliwatts. So I will be using this camera instead of that other bigger camera that I actually bought for a different build, a bigger build. This bigger camera is weighing 5.9 grams, almost 6 grams, and this other camera that I was using on my tiny wolf clone is weighing 4.1 grams, so that's actually 2 grams I can shave off the weight of the cloth, and that will translate in more stability and longer fly times. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this build. Um, tomorrow I will try to upload some FPV footage from the quad. For now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, check out my other videos, share it with your friends on social media, hit that thumbs up button, and remember guys, every time you fly your drones, please fly safe. Thank you.